Ramp meters are a proven tool used throughout the U.S. to help lessen the adverse effects of entrance ramp traffic on highway flow. The Transportation Management Center of the Georgia Department of Transportation has created this video to help you understand how the newly installed ramp meters on I-75-85 will ease traffic congestion. Here's a typical day on I-75-85 southbound at the Ellis Street entrance ramp. Motorists using the on-ramp have to force their way into heavy traffic on the interstate. Drivers in the right lane of I-75-85 are forced to slow down or stop to let them merge. Other traffic lanes on I-75-85 are slowed down because of the merging vehicles on the entrance ramp. Traffic is also backed up on the Freedom Parkway ramp. Just like the Ellis Street entrance ramp, vehicles have to slow down or stop for merging traffic. The Georgia Department of Transportation has a better way of allowing vehicles to enter onto the interstate. Ramp meters allow motorists to merge onto the interstate one vehicle at a time. Here's how it works. Motorists on the ramps will see a flashing sign warning, prepare to stop as they drive down the ramp. They will approach a standard looking traffic signal mounted above the ramp. A clearly marked line will indicate where to stop when the light is red. When the light turns green, one vehicle will be permitted to proceed down the ramp and onto the interstate. There will be two lanes of traffic on each ramp and the signal will allow one car at a time, first from the left lane and then from the right lane, and so on. By only allowing one car to enter the highway at a time, the ramp vehicles have minimal impact on interstate traffic. Congestion is also noticeably reduced, making merging much easier with less disruption to interstate traffic. This means better traffic flow, safer entrance onto the interstate, and fewer accidents. The Georgia Department of Transportation works hard to keep traffic flowing and motorists safe. Do your part and obey the ramp meter traffic signals. They carry the same legal status as a regular traffic light. For more information, contact the Office of Communications or visit us online at www.georgia-navigator.com. The Georgia Department of Transportation, we're here to serve you.